You see how the world do you? See how the world work? They only want to be your friend and be nice to you when you got some money. This house is a hot ass mess. I want y'all to see why we have to throw out this bed that we just bought two weeks ago. Get out of it. Get out of it. Because it's out of here. We just bought this bed two weeks ago, y'all. Look at it. It has been pissed in who knows how many times. It's the reason the house has been funky. It is disgusting. Ew, it's it smells so bad. Now it has to go. The house needs dire attention again. And I don't even have time to clean up in the kitchen for real. Y'all know that's the room I always keep clean, basically the living room and the kitchen. I don't have time because I'm about to meet Dana for dinner and we are going to dinner early. I'm not an early dinner girl. I like to go to dinner like when I'm done, it's time to come home and go to bed. But this place closed at eight and this is the place we tried to go to last time and they was BSing. So we said we are gonna get there at five and it's 326 so I need to be leaving the house in about an hour. So I need to shower and everything. I'm not doing nothing because after that, I have um, a massage appointment at eight o'clock. Oh my God, this place all the way. Where is it? It's, it's far. It's like Roswell. But it's because I wanted to go to a specific spot and the one close to me didn't have any openings. So I'm just gonna drive my butt out there. But that is at eight o'clock. So by the time that, it will be time to get on in the bed, baby. Y'all know my favorite thing to do. But anyway, um, I have no idea what I'm about to put on. It is hot as hell in Atlanta. It's like 70 degrees. I was kind of uncomfortable with this hoodie. I'm hot in my house. The air should be turned on. Um, so whatever I wear, she gonna be real casual. Cause yeah, I'm not, I'm finna tie my hair down. Cause it is a little, I love being bald so much like y'all. I woke up like this, look at my hair. Now she a little, you know, frizzy fuzzy. So we gonna get her together. But for the most part, she looks good. And I have not done nothing. Like I got real comfortable, a little bit too comfortable with my hair because I have not washed my hair in like two and a half weeks. And y'all know I was washing my hair like every other day because I needed to wash it to set it. And now for whatever reason, I don't need to, I guess because it's relaxed. But now I done got too comfortable and I need to wash it. And I'm not gonna wash it and run out the house. But I guess sometime this weekend it'll get washed. Hey y'all, so it's not this hot in Atlanta. <laughs> I'm definitely about to put a jacket on. But, oh yeah, I weighed in at 226 today, y'all. Girl, the last time I was 226 was definitely, was it last year this time? Okay, it's a little dark in here, but you see the material. Not 226, ooh. Ooh, okay y'all yeah i got kind of sad because this is something that i guess will never come to fruition let me not say never let me not say never we gonna stop but yeah i'm about to put this jacket on matter of fact be a vlogger show us and don't tell us because <laughs> i guess damn this shit still got the tag on this is hilarious it's just a little um green jacket because it is sleep warm so I threw this. Y'all know I love a jumpsuit. I really do. This one is cute too. Look at her. Do y'all see her? Do y'all see her with her? <laughs> okay. Um, girl, this is too cute. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. This green and this nude go together so good. Now she could have been a little longer, but y'all know my jacket's out. Well, this ain't my jacket. Hold on, yeah, hold on. I would say y'all my jacket short, but this one a little short, short. Like it don't even, 
It could have been right here. But this Halara jacket. But this is cute. These colors is cute. Because it's so short, it make me kind of want to button it up more. Which I guess I should. So you can't see the logo. Since, you know, you probably don't need to see it anyway. Let me... Oh my God. Kevin Gates dropped the album today, so I'm about to get, I've been waiting all day to get in my car before I played it. So I'm not, y'all ain't gonna see me. But I've had nothing to eat today but a rice cake. Okay, so that's why, that's why you're getting this. This is why. Cause all I had there was a rice cake so that I can eat. Cause I, this is my, is this my first and only time eating out this week? I think it is. And I've been trying to go to this place and enjoy it. And it's a black owned place. So I know the food gonna, let me not say it's gonna be good. I'm going to trust that it's going to be good. So I'm just telling y'all now for y'all be clocking. Because we just said we was going to do good in the last vlog. And we are. But I starved so that I could eat today. Alright. I made sure this was this was it for me. If I did. That's your business. We got to move on. Yeah. I'm about to call it a night. It's like 10.30. Um, after dinner, y'all seen me go to get a massage and i didn't go to the place i usually go to because i was trying to use all my class pass credits because i need to cancel it for now i don't know if i said that and when i pulled up i really don't like the little like massage parlors that's not like um you know like a hand in stone um uh, what's another one you know y'all don't know what hand in stone. i can't oh uh, like a spa y'all i don't want to say like asian spa parlors because that sound racist but <sighs> Y'all know what I'm trying to get because the stuff that be going on there and the last one I went to was a little sketchy. I'm sorry, but I just had to say it. Anyway, but this one that I went to, that man massaged me so good. It was so good. He massaged all on my face. Oh my God, it was amazing. So, yeah, I want to go back there um, just on my own. and It's not far from me. Um, also, I wanted to come in. So, like, I went to that restaurant thinking... And every time I go out to eat with Dana, every time I go, I be like, oh, I'm actually, I, I never show her. Like, I see, I think I showed her for a little bit. Not, not that she asked to be shown, but I just never do. Cause we be so wrapped up in talking that I literally just be remembering to pull my camera out for like a quick one, two of the food. And I went to this place thinking I was going to get this burger. This is this black owned restaurant that we tried to go to the last time and they was playing and we had to go to Yard House. And so I went there just thinking, you know, I ate all day. I'm finna, I ain't gonna say I'm gonna run it up, but I'm gonna enjoy myself. Y'all didn't even have nothing I really wanted. I got a burger, the burger that looked so good on Instagram, like that they was advertising. It's a, like a ribeye burger with blue cheese. They overcooked it and I definitely asked for medium well and it was definitely well done. It was dry. I was just like, maybe Keith Lee was right about the black owned restaurants in Atlanta. And I hate to say that cause I am a pro support black businesses. But I'm not gonna hold y'all. It's very few, like, not black owned businesses. Cause I got some stuff from a black owned business downstairs I need to go get from my good sis Tiff. But black owned restaurants. First of all, I don't know if I told y'all this when I was looking for a restaurant to do something, I think it was with my mom. And then I noticed that all of them wanna be closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, which I guess. But I ain't, I will say, I'm pretty sure toast is black owned. Toast is immaculate. Like the food. Toast on Linux. Every time somebody come here and they tell me they're going to get breakfast and they're not from here, I already know that they're going to toast. And every time I've been right, Toast on Linux is immaculate. Besides them, I really can't think of another black owned restaurant on top of my head. It's just like, oh my God. Because I've been to a few and they always just be like, okay. So it's not the black owned businesses. It's the black owned restaurants in Atlanta. I don't know. But yeah, like. And yeah. Anyway, I thought I was going to go and eat because I haven't eaten today. Like, I had a rice cake today. And I had that burger and fries and I did finish it. But that's all I had to eat today. And I just knew that I was going to have, I thought I was going to overeat. Which is why I didn't eat. So now I didn't eat enough. And I'm tired of not eating enough because I be waking up starving. But anyway, I got this Core Power Strawberry Bananas um, protein shake. And I don't know why I was tripping about these core power protein shakes before because i've had this flavor before like years ago and i was just like eh just like i had the vanilla one before and i was like eh and now i'm just like nah what you eh this is mm, this is not no eh this is a mm, this good mm, mm, good on some ain't that the campbell's logo mm, mm, good yeah <laughs> 
I think it was because I was so wrapped up in the nutrition plan ones that I didn't even want to get these a full shot because like this is really good and I'm like you've had it before why was you not saying it was really good when you had it before I actually kind of didn't like it when I had it before that's weird to me but anyway this is like we're about to eat our protein shake I might make some popcorn but I don't have nothing else in this house to eat <laughs> it's my fault I'm not defrosting greens <laughs> Cause I have greens in the freezer. Anyway, y'all, I have no idea what I'm doing this weekend. Oh yeah, Chelsea's event is Sunday. Why do I keep forgetting that? So I have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow. I need to clean my house. And I, I, I feel like I say this every vlog. I need to get organized and structured. But that is what I always need. Like organization and structure. So tomorrow we're gonna clean. Dare I say we're gonna go to the store, but we do have to eat tomorrow. But then Chelsea's event is Sunday, and I'm not sure, girl. I don't. I bought this ticket. When did we buy these tickets? I don't even know the time. I think we are having food. I don't know, but okay, I might need to go to the store. Tomorrow is a get our life together day, cause I don't know why we haven't had one of those this week. Cause we usually do it on Sunday, and I was at my dad's house. Y'all, Yum has to sit in his cage because we threw away the bed because it was pissy. And now he don't know where to go or what to do. So the, the door is open, but he doesn't have anywhere like to lay. And I kind of feel bad about him. And I plan on getting him another bed and I want to get a waterproof cover over it because I can't keep like those beds be $25, baby. We not just going to be throwing away beds every two weeks because you don't know how to behave. Now look at you. Look at you. These are decisions that you... Yum, why do you have brown on your white patch? What the hell is that? I ain't gonna go over there because you gonna pee. Yeah, look at you sitting with the decisions that you made. Y'all see his white patch? It's supposed to be completely white, which means there's something on it. He looking like, girl, if you don't get that damn camera out of my face. Why do you have that stank ass face? You got an attitude? What you think? I ain't got nowhere to lay. Okay, y'all, good morning. Actually, I think it is like 11.30. Um, today is very much going to be like a basically a reset day. Um, as soon as I sit down, here we come. Because I told y'all, Chelsea is having her event tomorrow. What he doing? What y'all think he doing? He was in that cage. I get down here and sit down. Now he want to throw around the toy. Now he know I'm talking about him, so he just looking. Anyway, Chelsea's having her event. Every time I go back to talking to y'all, he this dog is so smart. This dog is so smart. He knew I was talking about him, so he stopped. And then I get talking to y'all, he get to throwing it around again. But anyway, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Uh, Chelsea's event is tomorrow, so it's gonna be another Sunday that can't really be like a reset Sunday, which is fine. That's what we're gonna do today, um, cause. Yeah, I would like to get a grasp on things. We're going into February uh, next week. We, what I think the first is like on a Thursday. Anyway, this is the last couple of days of January. And we always go into January with high hopes. Like, oh my God, it's the New Year's, this and this, that. But a lot of people have decided that the New Year actually starts in February. Because <laughs> I guess you just be really like winding down from um, all the holiday stuff. But yeah, I need to clean... I need to get a grasp on what the hell we got going these last couple of days. I need to put clothes up that been in the dryer. Yes, the first is on Thursday. And basically, that's what we're doing. I still haven't decided if I want to go to the store. And that sounds crazy even coming out of my mouth. What do you mean you haven't decided? I think I'm going to have Chick-fil-A for lunch. Because I have still haven't had their mango passion fruit thing. Um, and I want it. But I don't even really want Chick-fil-A. I really been craving ramen ever since me and my mama had it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. See, this is what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I, I don't even know like if I do need to go to the store. Why do we go through this back and forth shit with the store? Don't we need food? I told y'all that my biggest thing is I'd be afraid to buy food and then to go back because I'd be throwing away food. And like tomorrow, I think Chelsea has food, but I don't know if she got food food. So that's why I'm trying to see like, do you need to go? Cause we not just finna be eating out. And then I don't even know what's going on. I have no like grasp of what's going on, but I guess that shouldn't matter if I, I need to get food. Um, anyway, this is what I mean. It, I feel like it just be a whole bunch of stuff going on in my head 
And it's so hard for me to like have a sense of like routine. And that irritates me because I just end up wasting a lot of time. And I notice that I overthink like any and everything. Whatever you could possibly overthink, I do that. And that shit is driving me crazy. I just want to like come outside myself for like, can I just like not, not that I don't want to be me, but like, you know, like come out of my consciousness to get a fucking break. Speaking of, I got 10 hours of sleep last night and I love that for me because I don't know the last time I've gotten 10 hours. It was amazing. But yeah, let me start to clean and all that. And then y'all have to rethink. I spent so much time last week like getting my oh y'all didn't even know and it doesn't matter I have a whole website um like where I was offering custom programs to make workout programs and like the personal training I made a whole website but it doesn't matter because now I have to restructure this because those custom workout plans aren't gonna work because someone purchased one and it like I want to say 15 20 minutes after they did I emailed them like hey I'm just making sure Blase, blase, blah. And I haven't heard anything from them. And then that's when it dung or ding in my mind that uh, it's not that I'm not going to make them, but if I am, I probably should. Because I only was charging like $40. And I don't think you should charge a lot for it because like it's just a PDF of workouts. However, I have to sit here and create them. And I was like, I don't think this is going to work long term. I feel like you really need something that's like a, a digital download, boom, done. Because now I'm kind of stressed out that I can't get in response to this person and they've paid their money and I'm like look I'm trying to do my part but I, I'm I'm checking in and see I'm like uh, uh see see let's stop this before we get ahead we do not need nothing that's going to take us and make us hyper fixate because I just told you I overthink every damn thing Y'all see y'all friend over here. You see him? I was not playing with you. I was not playing with you. It's going back. I was gonna give it one more try. Cause I do feel like, you know, it could have performed better. I don't want y'all to feel like the product didn't perform. But the reason why I didn't give it a try is cause no, it needs to go back. Because see, I was even struggling to think about what I even wanted to cook on it. And if I gotta do all that, you must not need it. Cause I was really like, well, what should I get? No, cause then I thought about what I really eat, especially like when I'm, you know, doing what I'm supposed to do. I like ground meat. This is like a horrible setup. I 
I like ground beef. I ain't gonna say I like ground turkey, but I'm gonna start eating ground turkey because I, I do not like chicken. I keep telling y'all that I don't like chicken unless it's fried. Um, anyway, I like salmon and I like my salmon in the air fryer. I typically, y'all, you notice know I eat ground beef and salmon. So I'm about to eat steak tonight. I decided that I was gonna cook and my car is so loud and I never notice because I always have my music up. So when I don't have my music on, I'll be like, what is all this noise? Anyway, yeah, I decided to cook and I decided to make like a Alfredo pasta basically. Um, but I wanted to do it with steak. And I was like, yeah. And I got some um, tomatoes that's like the canned stewed tomatoes. Fun fact, I do not like fresh tomatoes. I like my tomatoes seasoned and been sitting some kind of way they done got cooked they done been processed they done been dried sun dried in the can something but anyway i was like yeah i kind of want pasta um and i'm going to chick-fil-a and i'm not sad about it y'all because i'm 225 and not that's not good this always happens when i don't eat i'm not eating which means as soon as i eat this happened when I was going through that breakup, y'all, and I wasn't eating. Like, I'm actually eating, but I wasn't eating at all. But I dropped weight so quickly, and I wasn't happy about it because I knew that it was just because you're not eating. And as soon as you eat, boom. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and eat my Chick-fil-A and make this pasta because I really want it. Because I haven't been eating much at all. And not on purpose. I don't know what the hell is going on. But I did have, uh, y'all remember that strawberry banana protein shake I was drinking last night? I drunk the rest of it this morning. And also, let's just touch on this because I don't want to have to block nobody because y'all not finna get on my nerves and stress me out. I'm not doing it in two weeks before. I'm not counting calories still to this day, to the day. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And the reason why is because I know it's not something that I'm ever going to be able to do longer than two weeks if that consistently i'm just not so i'm not gonna set myself up for failure that's the first reason the second reason is y'all i really do believe in like living a healthier lifestyle and losing weight in a way that isn't that is easy for like the average person so my highest weight y'all i lost i was 250 and a lot of that weight you know it was i could just i was able to manipulate my weight mostly from um weightlifting so that was body recomp but then it gets to a point where they don't really help you that much no more <laughs> kind of like where i'm at now uh but i'm not gonna count calories because i never did like when i would lose weight i never counted calories so i felt like oh my maybe you need to start now to get to another point but that's not necessarily true first of all i am a chronic overeater and i know that i will literally know that i'm full and it's so good i just want to keep eating it well so i'm chronically overeating i also will take a gummy no one is gonna enhance the taste of my food. Yeah, I don't get where I'm getting at. If you know, you know. And I know that I'm gonna want to keep eating, and I don't care because I want that experience. So I honestly believe that I don't necessarily need to count calories. I don't feel like nobody needs to count calories unless you're bodybuilding or something like that, and it just has to be specific. Stop overeating. Your ass knew you was full. I don't even have a problem. I feel like as to what I eat, I know I don't eat the best, but like. I don't go to the store and feel the need to buy like cakes and cookies and all that and y'all will be like yes you do buy cakes and cookies i be throwing that shit away and don't even eat it all because like i'm one of those people that literally my brother will tell you why do you still have this bag of candy from three weeks ago because i only need one piece like a day if that like i just need the sweet real quick that's why i don't be finishing crumble cookies but i did finish that cinnamon cake thing it was so good anyway i'm just making a disclaimer that i'm not gonna be counting shit i'm just going to try to not now nah, we ain't gonna try we're not gonna overeat we're gonna stop leaning on food for our emotional support and then we're gonna just be conscious of what we eat i don't typically like to eat fried foods um the most fried foods i feel like i eat will be french fries and when i do that at home i put them in the air fryer but yeah i'm not typically like a fried food person i don't have to have them my biggest thing is overeating and i love cheese I do like sugar too. I like processed foods. Cause y'all know I like, uh, I don't like to cook it. I like it quick and those be processed foods. So that's another thing. But anyway, I am gonna have Chick-fil-A and I'm gonna make my pasta cause I really want something decadent. Cause I wanted that yesterday. Like I wanted like a comfort dish, which is why I, I, on purpose I didn't eat yesterday. And then got there and had that dry ass burger and I am pissed about it. Hey look, that new Kevin Gates. He is mad at Drika, baby. He said, take my name up off your last name and see how quick 
it start a brand. Or take my last name up off your name and see how quick it start a brand. <laughs> what? What? It's a couple of songs where I'm like, I thought y'all was good when she just said the look. Baby, I got the mind of business that pays me. Lovely. What's the name for your order? Amelia. Okay, Amelia, what can I get you? Um, I want to do a number two uh, with Kobe Jack cheese. Oh, you want the box? I don't want, the yeah, just the cheese. I got you, Kobe Jack cheese. What else for you, love? Uh, can you make the fries a large? Yes. And what's the uh, next for I want to do the... Mango passion? Yep, lemonade. I was looking over there <laughs> trying to read it right. <laughs> Mango passion lemonade. And what sauce is for you, love? Chick-fil-A sauce. Great choice. Anything else for you? No, that's it. 1118. How is it? Is it like really sweet? The lemonade? Oh, with the lemonade, yes. It's like black people sweet. Not that black. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think about it, I'm like, I didn't know who make it now. <laughs> hey, you're good to go. Thank you. My pleasure. I love when people are like happy at work. I'm happy at work, but I was never one of those people in real life, y'all. I was never one of those people. I will say though, I would I would try to be helpful. When I worked at the DMV, I was very helpful at that job because old people would come in there and not having their papers together, and I would get pissed that people didn't want to be bothered with them. They're old. But let me tell y'all, that job I told y'all when I worked at that call center with them rich people complaining about absolutely nothing, they could kiss the bottom of my, you know what? I could give a, and that's the job you was supposed to act like you just. Yeah, let, mm, and it's dark when I'm trying to spit some knowledge. Let's talk about that. The job where they wanted you to be the nicest, and oh my gosh, and I, like at Chick-fil-A, was because it was about money. These people were spending, I mean, buku, 50000 70000 $80,000 vacations. So yes, kiss their ass. But the job where the old people don't have their damn um, birth certificate or social security card, but they need a license, they absolutely have to have a license. Oh, we, oh well, forget it, we ain't got time. You see how the world do you? See how the world work? They only want to be your friend and be nice to you when you got some money. Even though, again, your vacation is not a necessity, but these old people need their IDs. Ooh, y'all are irritating me. Let me get my damn Chick-fil-A. I'm mad now. Y'all, I forgot that, um... Run a little low, huh? <laughs> I forgot... When, when Chick-fil-A had a specialty lemonades, they want to play you with this little damn Starbucks tall. I totally forgot, why do they do that? But when you got when you got regular, they want to get that fat ass styrofoam cup. But let me put a little syrup in there, now you deserve less. I remember you can't even ask for a bigger one, which is crazy. That's good. I forgot they do you like that. Okay, when you take that first Chick-fil-A fry. Mm. Y'all, I don't care what you say. It is something about Chick-fil-A. It's just immaculate. And I don't know if y'all noticed this, but every time we have Chick-fil-A in the car, I say the same thing. Immaculate. Chick-fil-A can do no wrong. Mmm, 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 mmm. Now I gotta run up in this Publix and get this stuff for this food that need to last me because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to eat tomorrow. I don't think we're gonna, especially because this event is at five, girl, we not having dinner. Ah! Look at my chicken sandwich. Had a little extra because I'm favored by the Lord. <laughs> I just want y'all to see me enjoy this one bite and then I'm gonna leave y'all alone because this is not a mukbang. Mmm, 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 mmm. It is just so. Chick fil A is just always good. Always. It really is my fav favorite fast food. Which is crazy because I'm a burger girl. Like I'm not even, I don't even get chicken sandwiches nowhere else but Popeyes or, you know, whatever. And that's funny, because when Popeyes first came out with that chicken sandwich, and we love Popeyes chicken sandwich, 
I was eating Popeye chicken sandwiches and I was not touching Chick Fil A. But don't you know? They always say, not the original gonna outlast, but we went through our phase with Popeyes and we left them alone. But you see who I'm still running back to? Only the last time I had a Popeye chicken sandwich. You gonna always come back to the original. It's cute when it first come out, but you know where home is though. Okay, y'all. I am. Ba oh my God, my camera on nine percent. Um, I'm back. I broke down and got Yuma bed. Cause I didn't like how pitiful he looked when he was out and he don't know what to do cause he don't have nowhere to go. Move young, cause I know you're gonna pee on it. So y'all, this is like a portable, like outdoor, indoor bed. But the reason I like it is cause it will be easy to just like throw in the washing machine. Um, cause it's in, look at him, he knows it's for him. It's inevitable what he gonna do. So that's what I was trying to tell my mom like by the bed she got, I wanted something that was kind of like malleable i think is the word so i could just like bunch it up and put it in the washing machine and it gets a thorough clean because you know what the other bed is so bulky that you can put it in there but i didn't feel like it was getting cleaned that good because it was so damn big so anyway this is basically like a little mat look at them young Yeah, move, because I know you move, young, so I can put it down here. Come on. Because I know you ain't going to put the piss on it. Look at it. Yep, that's all you get. This, that's pitiful. That's pitiful. That's all you're going to get. That little bit of fabric on the floor. That's all you need. Because you don't know how to act. <laughs> Why is he smelling on it like that? What do you think? Good enough? At least you got somewhere to go. I mean, it would be cool with your little toys down there. We can't give you a blanket because you'll piss on that. But you put your little stuffed animals down there. That's it. We're not taking all them stuffed animals out. Y'all don't care. All that. After you done acted up. Now, mess this bed up. Because you had that bed for two weeks. Do you hear me? Two weeks. He ain't listening to nothing I'm saying. Them little teeth. Show us the teeth. Teeth. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Do it again. Teeth. If this dog open his mouth when I say teeth, I'm going to know something. Young. Teeth. Teeth. Please. Okay, we'll work on it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all see how filthy that window is over there? Do you know why? from him snorting and sneezing all day. Don't know other part of the windows look like that in my house. I'm gonna have to post this TikTok. I don't know if I just mentioned this about the floors. This lady was like, the reason why my, I think I already said it, I'm gonna stop being repetitive. <laughs> so y'all, I went to the store and got the stuff that I needed for the pasta and then I got other stuff and now we have to have a talk. We have another TED talk. But well, come on, because this is a good one. I got Texas toast, because I wanted toast on my pasta. Let me turn my brightness down. Okay. Heavy whipping cream, because duh. Garlic paste, because duh. Um, I got the chuck eye steak from Publix. This is my favorite cut of meat, because it's fatty. Mm, it's not expensive as ribeye. This was $12, y'all, for almost two pounds of meat. It's two steaks in there. That's great because I'm going to cut it up so like I really could stretch this meal, especially because I'm eating it with toast. Um, I wanted to try these hash brown patties because y'all know I go to Trader Joe's and get the hash brown patties and I didn't want to have to go there just for that. So I was like, let me try these Publix ones. I got some Italian cheese, some baby bella mushrooms, some diced yellow onions. And um, I like to use fresh pasta. This probably isn't the freshest. I usually will go to Whole Foods for my fresh, fresh pasta, but um, yeah, anyway. I got the Batoni Linguini. And then I got these tortilla chips. And you got, might be asking why I got some tortilla chips. Y'all, I seen this damn dip on TikTok and I had to try it. It is limited edition Philly cheese steak dip. I know, I know. And I just told y'all about me and dairy. But that ain't nothing compared to this. 
So I decided, you know, I'm, uh, I cleaned up today. I've had a day. I had a week. I just kind of want to chill. I kind of do want something sweet. Um, I wanted to try the crumble strawberry shortcake cookie that they had. Because y'all know I tried the cinnamon cake one, which was sold out, by the way. But I didn't want it again. I wanted to try something different. So when I got there, I said, oh, I also kind of want to try the cookies and cream cookie. Now, Crumble doesn't have a two-pack. You get a one-pack or you get a four-pack. Or I think it's like a six-pack. And I was like, okay, that's fine. You can just get two separate cookies. And then I looked at the price of the four-pack. And I was like, okay, you getting two separate cookies. It's going to be about $9. And the four-pack is 13 I was like, that's fine. You don't, you're probably not even going to eat these cookies. You never really do. Y'all, what about I left with the four-pack anyway? I got all of the cookies except for the cannoli one. I've already had the cinnamon one. So this week's lineup. Oh, damn. How did this happen? I have cookies and cream, which is that black one, uh, strawberry shortcake, Reese pieces, and chocolate chip cookie. Y'all, this is the issue with this. First of all, I just told y'all I'm not really a sweets person. Like, I've taken a bite. I've tasted all of these cookies, like a little piece of it just to taste it, except for the chocolate chip because it's chocolate chip. And I'm good. I kind of don't even want nothing sweet anymore. Every time, y'all, I buy crumble cookies, I never finish them. Which, good, because they're extremely high in calories for no reason, but I just never do. But then I also just, we just had this whole talk about self-discipline and all this shit. I had Chick-fil-A today. I'm having this damn pasta with whipped cream. I said, God need to slap me on the back of my neck with his sandal, because what the, when that, when four date guy said I was a self-sabotager, he was dead ass I am. Why would you do that? It's not even something that you really just like. Now, I could see if I went to Cheesecake Factory and got a slice of cheesecake because I really like cheesecake. You got something that you don't even care for. You know you're not going to finish. And it's like, then you're going to feel bad for not finishing. So then you're going to make yourself finish it. Why did you even set yourself up for all of this? And I say all this to say, like, what is the true reason for self-sabotaging? Is it because I really just don't believe I can have some act right? But if you, I want to say if you would believe you would have some act right then. I don't know, but I just don't feel like, like the crumble cookies is not making sense to me. I understand the Philly cheesecake dip. I do. Because I love cheese and meats. I love Philly cheesesteaks. This is limited edition. I want to try it. I get it. I don't like crumble cookies. It's like you just want to fuck up. Why? Why would you do that? So anyway, I don't know y'all. I also said I wanted to start a series on TikTok about like basically every day I want to kind of journal myself trying to have more self-discipline and eating, watching what I'm eating and not overeating. And I just want to chronicle what that might look like. I think that's a good idea. So if y'all want to follow me on TikTok, it's Mia Snow, like all of my socials. I think I'm going to start doing that on Monday. And whatever it entails, it entails. So like today, if I just went and got the crumble cookies, I'm going to just have to show it. And maybe, maybe shame, because y'all know we talked about the shame, wizard, and human resources. Maybe shame will get me to act like I need to act. Because I just don't understand why I did that. Like, I have no interest in these cookies. And they was 13 damn dollars. So if I ever have like a custom t-shirt or sweatshirt or hat, it probably came from Cab. Look at this bag. Isn't that cute? And then it has my name on it. Yeah. I don't even remember what I ordered. I remember I ordered a hat. I think a sweatshirt. Oh, yes. I had a shirt that was too big and it said it's saying and it was too big. It didn't look good. So I got a sweatshirt now that says it and I'm excited about it. Uh, it be pins and stuff. Oh, my God. Get on your shit, stay on your shit, stay out of shit, and I always be the shit. That's cute. She be putting little cute stuff in my stuff. Y'all, remember my black AF hat? I don't even know what happened to it. But now, y'all, I got a bucket. Hey! I got a bucket through, come through. Oh, I love this. I love this. Y'all see this? Oh, my God. I like a flower. And then I got this, uh, again, the shirt said this, and it was too big. And now, I had a hoodie. I thought I got a sweatshirt. Okay, I have a hoodie. Y'all, look what this say. It says, rule number one, stay out of your feelings. Ain't There's no money in there. Ain't no money in there. Ain't no money in there. Ain't no money. Okay, stop playing with me. Shop with your girl, Miss Tiff. I love this. I'm going to put her stuff in the description box. Y'all see my bucket? 
Okay, y'all, this is me being a diligent girl because I had a word for y'all when I was talking about the food and I couldn't remember exactly what I wanted to say and I knew that it was important. And let me tell you what that was. That was the devil. <laughs> no, for real. Okay, so I knew I, because I have, when I had my little TED Talks, I knew I wanted to talk about this in the car, but I don't know why I didn't. I guess because I wanted to show y'all the groceries first. Anyway, I think in that book I was reading, Discerning, Discerning the Voice of God, it came up about you being convicted about certain things that other people aren't going to be convicted by. So this is why I said God need to take his sandal and slap me on the back of the neck. Because for whatever reason, my calling, my purpose, my journey, I'm convicted. I feel convicted, meaning... I shouldn't be doing it. I have a there's a strong belief that this is wrong and it ain't necessarily moral wrong, morally wrong. So I have a conviction right now about the things that I put in my body, not necessarily like healthy, but overeating, eating sugar and processed food, stuff that I know I'm telling y'all I need to cut back on and not saying I'm never gonna do it or whatever, but I just need to cut back on it. I don't wanna be what is the word in the Bible? It is a sin, gluttonous. So I'm feeling a strong conviction about that. And in that book, it was saying something that somebody else may be convicted about doesn't mean that you would, but that's because what y'all got going on is different. So I'm feeling this, right? Because this is for whatever reason God put this in me. So I'm feeling bad for a reason. That's why I need to stop. So I don't want y'all to watch this in because I've never been a person. I've always actually been the person to say eat what you want do what you want and I still believe that but for whatever reason in the place that I am right now I'm feeling convicted about it and so there's a reason I'm feeling convicted about it and there's a reason that you don't feel convicted about it and you don't need to take on my conviction is basically what I'm saying you don't need to feel bad girl if you had cheesecake and girl if you eat McDonald's every day and that ain't gonna do with me or you and it's not like oh you doing no I feel that way about how I feel about it right now it's because that's God talking right so also you can use and then the example in the book I think was about like her friend felt some conviction all of a sudden about dressing more modestly and there has been a thing on Instagram about the girls trying to be modest so perfect example actually like you may feel like mm, you know I want to for whatever reason you got a feeling that you need to dress more modestly cover yourself up I don't have that feeling I, I don't feel no way about it at all and I shouldn't have to just because you do because see that ain't on my heart so again we say that the Lord is not in the sky he's not he's in you so when we have certain feelings about things those are our feelings to have for whatever reason that's that's what a conviction is but I don't want y'all to be thinking I'm trying to tell y'all or oh, you shouldn't be eating this or doing this or making this is not to persuade y'all to feel no type of way and I wanted to make it clear that I'm having strong convictions about it for whatever reason right now because that's just what I got going on so also six months from now I may not have strong convictions about it I haven't really been having it but for whatever reason right now I don't like, I don't, I feel bad when I'm gluttonous. I feel bad knowing I went and got them damn cookies and don't want them, ain't touched them. I could see now, I'm not saying this is okay, but I could see if I went and got them cookies and y'all, I done ate a cookie already. I'm not thinking about them cookies. I don't even want that dip. <laughs> So yes, I'm having strong convictions because why are you going and doing first of all, just why? And now I'm having to sit like what what is it for real? Like y'all hear me when I'm saying why? I really want to know why. Why are you doing this? What is it that is causing you to do this? Is it really like a deep, deep embedded like self-sabotage thing? Cause why are you doing things that's gonna put you further from where you need to be in? And, and you're not benefiting at all. I could see if like, well, damn, at least I had the cookies. Ooh, well, at least I had the good dip and it was so good. I don't even want it. You're just doing it for no reason. So anyway, not to drag it on, but that I did want to leave that tidbit about like listening and why we have certain convictions about certain things and maybe other people don't. And we don't need to be forcing our convictions on other people either. Okay, let's make that clear. And because he was humble enough to just say, okay, it doesn't matter why the donkey got lost, but I've been tasked. My father has asked me to go find the donkey, so I'm going to be willing to do the mundane assignment, to wash the dishes again, to change yet another dirty diaper, <laughs> to go back up to the school to meet with the teachers about my teenage son or daughter, that I'm going to be the one who will faithfully study, who will faithfully be in God's word, whether or not there is an audience listening to hear what it is that my Bible study produces. 
that I'm going to be willing and diligent to write the lyrics to this song whether or not there's a recording contract on the other end. That I'm going to be diligent to put pen to paper and write this blog post that I feel like the Lord has given me whether or not anybody comes to my blog and actually reads it. Because I'm not doing it to impress people. I'm doing it in surrender and humility to my great God. What has God called you to do? Do it. Do it. (laughs) Your God assignment is waiting on you when you walk back home tomorrow. It's what's right in your house. It's what's right on your job. The job that you've been trying to leave for the last year and for some reason the Lord won't move you on. Mm. The neighborhood that you've been trying to get out of, you've been trying to buy a house in this neighborhood, but the Lord for some reason keeps you in this neighborhood. Those deals keep falling through and you just can't move and you're hemmed in on every side. You can't figure out why the Lord won't let you move on to that organization or leave this church to go to this church. He's got you hemmed in in this place where you are. That is where he wants you to be. And if you'll be faithful to the task that is at hand in this season, in this place, you'll be amazed how that particular donkey is designed to lead you to your destiny. Because Saul could never have known that the Lord had gone before him, that he had already whispered his name in Samuel the prophet's ears. He is said to him, there is someone coming. I will point him out to you when he gets here. If Saul will be humble enough, faithful enough to go on the assignment that he has been given, mundane, regular, ordinary assignment. If he'll do it, he will intersect his path with yours. And when he shows up, I'll make sure that you know it's him. I need somebody in the room to know that God has already whispered your name to somebody. He has already set. This is what providence is, y'all. Providence is when the Lord goes before you and lights up steps you don't even know you're going to take yet. Providence is when he goes before you to set up answers to problems you don't even know you're going to have. Providence is when he makes provision for you. When he's whispered your name, somebody needs to know in the room, there is an employer that already has your name on their hearts. There's already a spot that is in need of your gifts and your talents and what you can bring to the table. It's waiting on you. If only you'll do what he's put in front of you to do today, you will be on the right path to intersect with the divine plan that God has for your life and for this generation. Do you know in First Corinthians, uh, First Chronicles, chapter, as Bobby Houston would say. <laughs> form of a bond servant he humbled himself he humbled himself even to the to the point of death on a cross y'all he emptied out himself and you and i are often so full of ourselves this makes it so that none of those ordinary things are disconnected from his glory being displayed it's leading you somewhere it's taking you somewhere to a divine intersection and when saul showed up samuel said hey I got a meal for you. The name Karen Abercrombie. Karen Abercrombie is a real actress. That's what she does for a living. It is her craft. It's obscene form. And you try to go to that city and work that job, but you'll have the same scene. God said, I'm not giving you new seed. So if you go there and the boss, he doesn't recognize me. God, seed in the right soil. Gotta produce. It doesn't matter what your family said. Sure, the Bible said, see, time, heart. You can hold your seat. You can eat your seat. You can wear your seat. Ah, you can. If you don't sow your seed, you will never reap your harvest. Harvest. I just expanded it for you. I need you to write that out. See. The only purpose of a seed is to sow so that it can produce more after its own kind. Seed, sow, time, harvest. This 
is why I say all the time, all you have is all you need. Why? Because God's not requiring a seed that he has not already given you. Some of y'all are so discontent with the season you're in, and God says you are holding your future right now in the place of seed form. Good afternoon, y'all. I'm walking out of the house to go to the vision board party. But y'all know I had to show y'all my outfit. Oh my God, my battery's on 10%. I'm the worst vlogger of all time. How? Okay, okay, we're gonna have to hope and pray we get a little charge in the car just a little bit. Okay, y'all, so here's my outfit. I have everything linked below. Everything, yeah, that I can find. Marc Jacob metallic bag, lambing shoes. This is perfect. Cause I'm cute, I'm fashionable, but she's still comfy girl swag. Okay, all right y'all. I'm so sorry that I didn't charge this damn camera. That is so ghetto. Y'all, I cannot make this up. I'm leaving the house looking for my Jeep key cause it's not on my key ring. It hasn't been for a while and it should be. Let me show you why it should be. My key been in this car all night. Somebody had a Jeep and didn't even know it. Like had a Jeep, had a Jeep. Could've just went on, crazy. Oh, the introvert in me is screaming when I tell you it's a freaking line. Girl, this line is ridiculous. I am so nervous. <laughs> I am so damn nervous. Like, I don't even want to get out of the car, but I bet I get I bet I get to get out of the car. This is insane. <laughs> Watch your vlogs every day. You have my little work buddy. You don't even. 
Representing my play sister who lives in the Bronx, New York. That's right. We she do. told me, Allison, wow. I want you to go and represent me. She said, I love this girl. Right. And unlike the people that said they're 40 something, I'm going to top that. Yes. I'm 61. Oh. Yeah. When I was a little girl, I was a chubby girl, still chubby, right? <laughs> and everything, I wanted to be a flag girl when I was in college, but because I didn't want to show my legs, I was thick, I didn't do it. So I look at plus size women now, and I say, y'all are doing your thing. Yeah, that's right. And I want you to know, I want you to know how beautiful you are. Mm -hmm. Inside and out. And, out. and I will start watching your channel. Yes. yes. God bless you. Mm. He destined you mm -hmm. to do this. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Amen. Thank you. Yes. Look, I was like, don't you get the last saying nothing. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you everybody for coming. I love all y'all. Jacksonville, when you was in that apartment, I was crying with you. I was so glad when you moved. I mean, we, we was just riding for you. My husband watches with me. I'm like, no, Chelsea got this bitch for a party. He like, yeah, we in there. I said, no, sir, you're not going. He's like, but Dion going to be there. And I'm like, no, we love you. I'm from North Carolina, girl. We love you. Keep doing your thing. You the bomb. We got.
got you. Yeah. 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 And got a drink. The, well, you was talk, you somebody tagged me in there. Yes, because I was just randomly the talking. Matcha. And it was a green tea matcha with white chocolate syrup and brown sugar syrup. I tell my blood, they know like that's my drink. I said, no, it's not my drink. I got it from I said Britney Snow. I know. Let's and see, that's yeah, my change my name. Off, right? That's like, why I changed my name. She had did the video, was like, uh uh, it's Britain. And I'm going and then she changed her intro from when I said that, I said, I struck a nerve. Amelia. I, I love Amelia. So me. I'm so happy you went to Amelia. That, that's so unique. Brenton was. My daddy named me after his high school sweetheart. That must have been bad. It ain't my mama. It ain't my mama. Oh my god. It ain't my mama though. It ain't my mama. So I feel like your name though. That name is nice. I like that name. Hey. Hey mama. Yeah, get that lens. Nah, where? Come on, let's go see your friend. I'm gonna have to get me a damn hat. <laughs> Y'all, I want me some inches like that too. She said it's about 26. Okay, y'all, I'm back home, and I'm probably the only person that didn't go through the doggone little gift bag that um, Chester gave us. Young, go get in the bed, because see, every time I come and get on this camera, you I don't know why you got the, you not finna bother me while I'm trying to vlog. We both freezing in here. I had to turn some damn heat on. Anyway, so I'm gonna show y'all my vision board, and I'm talking about the event. It was a great time. I'm so sorry if you missed it. Well, I don't even know how many of y'all actually subscribed to her. I'm acting like it was my damn event. If you was subscribed to her and you seen it and you didn't come, girl, you missed it. Anyway, so we have this um, a planner. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't know why that was weird to, for me. So this is like a little planner. You have the week of and you put the dates and then boom, 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 which was cute considering this is a vision board party. Now look. Because Dane spoke for this girl and was like, oh, y'all, she put so much thought in this and she paid attention to details. And I told her, I said, well, if you pay attention to details so much, why ain't got no Ollie Pop in my bag? <laughs> but at least she knew that watermelon was the one and not the two, okay? Because y'all, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm an Ollie Pop girl through and through. I love Ollie Pop. But the poppy watermelon. 
and I bought because I tried popping before y'all. I actually I had I had a sponsor. I don't know if I told y'all this, but I had a sponsorship with Olipop before they was in the store like years ago, and I wasn't thrilled about it. I don't know if they changed the formula. Or I don't remember, I think I had like Dr. not Dr. Pepper, but like the Coke flavor and the cherry ones. The ones that wasn't as good as the ones we be getting now. Anyway, when I wanted to try them again, I actually tried Poppy first. And Raspberry Rose was the flavor that like really stood out to me because rose, baby. Like what and I it's more of like I feel like a flavored spritzer or something. It just doesn't have a strong taste and I you know I want a strong taste. And I forgot what other flavors I tried, but it was never nothing bad. But I just like Olipop better, except this watermelon one is like amazing. I'm not gonna hunt you, it's really good. Um, and then, oh, oh, I love lavender, oh my gosh. So then I have these, um, the steamers, which y'all know, I had the eucalyptus and orange ones. Oh, I'm gonna use one of these tonight. This smells so good. Oh, this girl be getting some good stuff, baby. And then it's the eye mask. Everything is better in pink, a collagen boosting gel eye mask. And then there is a e.l.f. lip balm. I've never tried any of their lip balm, so this is good. Even though I don't care, I'm probably not gonna replace Laneige, but you know, this is vanilla frosting. And then there is this pretty gold pen in there. So I noticed it was a guy next to me. Um, he came with one of the girls. And I guess instead of this, he had a, a cologne spray because he had a cologne spray and he probably was to replace this. But anyway, this was a really cute little gift bag when baby, she had already did the most. We had an open bar, we had food. Like she didn't need it. Then she had an iPad giveaway, which she did charge. I think it was $5 to enter that. And then she gave away a hatch though for Like that was for anybody. Like we had a giveaway for a hatch. She did the absolute most, which she always do apparently, and I love that for her. Cause my mama was like, "Well, you should throw an event." I said, "Girl, no, I know to stay in my lane. I'm not a no, cause I'm a half assy and I would. <laughs> that's just not. You gotta know who you is. I'm not that girl. I love this for her, but I am not. I get. Uh, uh that would just be too overwhelming for me. I cannot. Y'all, my vision board. I am not good at arts and crafts, like I said before. It was so many more vision boards that look so much better than mine. But these was like our little name things, and I glued mine to my vision board. Another person did this too. Um, Cause I mean, look how pretty that was, like your little name place, and I just didn't, it didn't need to go to waste. It could be used. So look y'all, there is young. That's funny that I literally saw a picture of a Frenchie. And then we have right in the middle is Faith. This is the year of Faith, baby, because we got, we, we got to hold on to it. Um, I don't have much on here besides like some dumbbells because y'all know like my working out and then somebody like deadlifting and then money because we always need more of that and then my veggies because we got to eat we got to eat right then it's this little saying that says i belong then there's a couple because hopefully we find somebody that we boot up with <laughs> um stay present please girl please i am bold success is a sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out for with God, nothing shall be impossible. Um, do it for you. These are, I got a lot of sayings more than pictures because the pictures wouldn't really resonate with me as much as like the sayings was. But then I also have this, um, this is like a date night type of vibe. Um, time is non refundable, use it with intention because baby can't ever get no more of that. Uh, did I say for with God, nothing shall be impossible? That's a Luke 1 through 7 verse. This is just the beginning and it's only going to get better from here. And then one year equals 365 opportunities. So this was such a cute event. Like I knew it was going to be a cute event from when I was like talking to her about it. But it was such a cute event, y'all. And it was so many women there. And they came from Florida. We had Mississippi. We had think, like South Carolina. We had D.C. We had Detroit. Baby, they showed up and showed out for her, and I love that so much for her. Cause God, if it if it can't be me, I wouldn't want it to be nobody else but her. 
that is a beautiful person she is a shining light and girls were like getting up and talking about like you know how much she inspired them and this isn't that and it was just so beautiful to see like y'all it was amazing i am so glad that i was a part of it and i got to be there like for real then y'all seen dame i finally got to meet him in person i've never met him in person we've only spoken on the internet so that was really cool and there was a few of my subscribers there i guess yeah because they was calling me out and i was like y'all was not trying to be recognized today but um yeah that was cute so i got to meet some people too it was just all in all a very good event and a very good time and i'm so excited for her and so happy for her and yeah it made it just it made me i'm just so happy and like in a good mood like it was me like i really feel like damn was this me because that's i got the feelings that it was me like i'm taking her happiness and i'm having it <laughs> i do that like y'all this is why i noticed that if I'm somewhere and like it's like negative type of vibes, I'll intake that. I guess that's a call being an empath. And if there is positive, happy, everybody's excited vibes, then I'm gonna be happy and excited too. But anyway, thank y'all for kicking it with me this weekend. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this vlog up and I holla.